All right, Sarah, you ready to do the longest transition that we've ever done, but it'll just take them one second? But it'll take us over 24 hours? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> okay, here we go. Who's ready to do some hunting, hunting in, in London. London? Come on. It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And we've been back. For a little while now. For a bit, yeah. Yeah, from uh, over in the UK. Yeah, our uh, Ireland trip, but we also mm -hmm. uh, tagged on a little pop over to London. That's right, which is what this video is about. It is our London hunt, but please keep in mind that we had a week in Ireland. Yeah, we've been in Ireland for like seven to eight days, mm -hmm. and we bought some bottles. We'd been to lots of distilleries. Also, you know, this was the last few days of like a 10, 11 day trip, so Energy-wise, we were on the downhill part of the bell curve. Yeah. Uh, financially, right, with our with our bourbon budget, our bo or our and, bottle budget, I guess I should and say. Suitcase space. Space. Wise we're well. on the downhill, so. A little different hunt than normal. It was mostly just like exploring what's over there and um, like what your options are and what prices look like. We yeah. didn't buy too many bottles. We'll just say that up front. But I think it was really cool to like go to the different shops and see how they do things. For sure. Now, our first day in England we actually went out to the English countryside about an hour out on train to mm -hmm. visit White Peak Distillery mm -hmm. where they further age and bottle Never Say Die. That was a great day and I'm so happy that we did that, but that left us only one full day to hunt in London. So it was a busy day, we walked. I don't think we took any rides, I think we, we just uh, took everything on foot and it was a little warm that day. So it was. we were just trekking all over the city. Yeah, so if you haven't seen our Ireland's hunt uh, already, you can do that. And then also our Buffalo Trace London video mm. where we got to try Double Eagle Very Rare. That was a big <gasps> surprise. Spoiler. So both of those videos are out now, which you can go check out. But I guess Sarah, without any further ado, let's get at it, right? It. Yeah. The Whiskey Exchange was our first stop of the day and wow, what a place to start with. Um, y'all got any whiskey? Yeah, you could say they had some whiskey. Let's take a look around, and mind you, this is just the first floor. We first spotted the big boys. A.H. Hearst Reserve, Van Winkle Rye, BTAC, along with some vintage bottles, Old Fitz, and more BTAC. Continuing on with some Four Roses LEs, Taylor Small Batch, the Whitford Five Malt Stouted Mash, and of course, your Blantons, Rip Tin, and Basil Hayden Toast? What are you doing way up here? Anyway, Kentucky Owl, Bartstown Bourbon Company, Old Tub, and a good mix of things, really. If you ask me what I thought was likely to make it over to London, England, I don't know, I probably wouldn't have picked half of this stuff, but it's cool to see it over here. They even have mellow corn. I love it that in this store, you can buy a bottle that's $15 in the US, and buy a bottle that's 30,000 pounds, which is $38,772 American. Bourbon-wise, we feel like it's gonna be hard to beat this selection. But before we leave, we gotta check out what's downstairs. Ah, there's a spot line that we had quite a few of in Ireland. And here's the red breast. Now here's the bottles that they have to keep behind glass. So let's check some prices. You want a 52-year-old Macallan for over 35,000 US dollars? You've come to the right place then. Okay, let's take a look around. And that'll do it for here. Next was Perry's Wine and Spirits. First thing we spotted was a minor case rye from Limestone Branch. We expect to keep seeing the Never Say Die bottles over here since they're further aged and bottled about an hour from London. And here's some Texas and Washington whiskeys. Some more bourbons up top as this place is packed floor to ceiling with bottles. Oh, and even a little Michter's 10 rye action in this store. But it's on to the next one, which is the Vintage House. Excited to see if vintage applies to their bourbon as well. This barrel makes us feel right at home. Not vintage, but here's some heavy hitters. 2,188 US dollars for a 2019 WLW. I wonder if it's been around here since 2019. But hold up, 395 pounds for a Four Roses LE from 
2017? Huh, more on that in a minute as we look around at some of the usual suspects that we've been seeing so far. Buffalo Trace, Woodford, Jim Beam, Lux Row, Four Roses, Heaven Hill, and Wild Turkey all seem to be well represented so far in London. Speaking of Buffalo Trace, here's some Blantons. But wait, a 2019 Four Roses LE for $349? Would rather have a 2017, but man. And I just have to tell you at this point, the conversion rate is not going through my head. I'm thinking US prices and how you would not find this bottle for $349 in the States. Wait, that's a Ryder Cup edition of Elijah Craig for 48 pounds? Not awful. And I always love this bottle of Johnny Drum Black. I'm pretty sure it's discontinued. I wonder if they have the green too. And they do, love it. Also, Mellow Corn keeps representing over here. And look at the dust on that 1792. They might not have any vintage bottles per se, but they do have some dusties. Wait, Rare comes in a tube here? Uh huh. Okay, back to what I was seriously considering buying, the 2017 Four Roses Small Batch LE. But then I googled the conversion rate and realized that 395 pounds is about 510 US dollars. And we have to fly with it and hope that it doesn't break. Not worth the risk, so we'll leave it. But Londoners, go get this bottle. Well, Chad, we've been doing this channel for eight years now as of this month. And uh, in that time, it's been, you know, a lot of bourbon festivals and a lot of just big days of filming. And people always ask us, how do you do it? Like, how do you drink that much and to just keep going? Bounce the truth back. is moderation, but also if we know we're gonna have a big day and we know we need to bounce back quick the next day because we don't have time to miss a day, we take Z-Biotics. Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. Just remember to drink this probiotic before drinking alcohol, drink responsibly, and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. Sarah, I recently got an unsolicited endorsement for this product. I was, really? I was over at a friend's house and he said, have you ever heard of this um, Zbiotic stuff? And I was like, have I? We've got a code for it, which it's like, oh, give me the code, please. Yeah. But anyway, he said, uh, he and his wife, if they are out of it, they won't even go out drinking because they say it's just not worth it in the morning. So there's a That's couple a testimonial. That, that swear by it. So I was like, hey, I'm going to I'm gonna use that in our next video because, <laughs> uh, yep. yeah, that's that's really awesome to hear. So take it from them and from us. Like, yeah, a lot of times it's not worth it unless it's you have your little it. helper. With summer in full swing, make sure you go to zbiotics.com slash bourbon night or scan the QR code on screen for 15% off your order at checkout. Just use code bourbon night. You can also sign up for a subscription using our code so you'll be prepared no matter the time or occasion. Zbotics is also backed with a 100% money back guarantee so if for any reason you're unsatisfied, they'll give you your money back, no questions asked. Remember to head to zbiotics.com slash bourbonite and use code bourbonite for 15% off your order at checkout. Thanks to Zbotics for sponsoring this episode and our good times. Amethyst Drinks to the World was the next stop, and wait, is that a Bardstown Bourbon Company ad on the front of the store? Nice. Plenty of bourbon selection here. There's another Johnny Drum Green, lots of Willet, Whistlepig, and Michter's, including their Shanks and Bomb Burgers releases. And our first Booker sighting, 127 US dollars is close to what we have to pay for it over here. I saw this bottle of E.H. Taylor's Small Batch and notice on the side where it says Straight Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey and can swear it says Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey over here. So I had to go get one of our bottles before I wrote this off as a Mandela effect. Much to my surprise, our bottles over here also have the Straight before the Kentucky. I never noticed that. Okay, back to the hunt. Here's the Bardstown Bourbon Company they were advertising. And also we've seen few over here a lot. Almost $1,100 for a handy rye, wow. After that price, we were feeling hedonistic, so we went to Hedonism Wines. You can feel the opulence dripping off this place. They have a wine cellar in the cellar, obviously. Is that like saying they have a downstairs in the basement? Oh, someone's taking home an E.H. Taylor. Good for them. Now here's the bourbon selection. Wow, okay, I think we found a better selection than the Whiskey Exchange. Here's a George T. Stagg fall release, which means it's 15 years and some change, and one of the hazmat releases at 141.2 proof for only 
I only found one fall release on sale online, and they want 9,000 for it, so hey, it's a steal. Now here's some vintage. A 1980s Weller 107, yes please. Oh, and some Le Maison du Whiskey Blantons? Don't mind if I do. Except I won't, because we don't have that kind of money for whiskey right now. Don't even look at me, Michter's 20 year. You're too delicious. Now, would you rather have a three pack of OFC releases for 19,500 pounds, which is over $25,000, or this Booker's 10th anniversary signed by Booker No himself for 3,900 pounds or just over $5,000? I know my answer. Let us know down below. More Blantons because, of course, and good to see Peerless over here too. It took me some looking to find an Unforgotten in the States, but here's one for 305 pounds. Barrel Craft Spirits and Whistle Pig represented well here. And another Booker's, but this time it's, whoa, $194? 140 pounds is about $180. Who would pay that for a Weller 12? No judgment, honestly, just curious. Wait, theirs comes in a box? Ugh. And then, naturally, you have the Van Winkles and the Pappies. No price on the 20 year though, but you get the idea. What a beautiful store, and I don't think we can afford to go into the wine cellar. Our last stop was this bar called Dram, a small, chill place to hang out that also sold a few bottles. We weren't expecting to see a bottle of Daniel Weller also just chilling on the bar, but there it was. This bottle retails for $500 and secondary is just stupid. So what do you think a pour of this costs? If you said 98 pounds or about $126, then wow, you're really good. This is the last day of an already expensive trip, so we passed on it. For sale, they had some Michter's bottles, Elijah Craig, Sazerac Rye, more Michter's 10 Rye, Taylor, and whoa, is that almost $59 for an Evan Williams Black Label? Sometimes prices just don't make sense. And here is our haul. Oh, uh, well, we didn't uh, we didn't buy anything in London. This is a first for uh, a bourbon hunt video, Sarah, but uh, extenuating well, circumstances. I right? mean, like yeah. in regular hunting, you don't always get something, right? For sure. That's how it for goes. Sure. I don't know. That tracks? <laughs> well, I guess we could count the Eagle Rare that you bought at Buffalo Trace London. True. Again, that was in a separate video. It's just a regular bottle of, of Eagle Rare with a little... Hang tag that's hang tag especially is, for, that you know, for that store. London. I I bought it as a gift, so it was not for the channel, really, and that was my own thing. So. <laughs> That's right. But I guess technically. I guess technically, one bottle. We came away with that. It's, yeah. it's been drank. It's been gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. No um, longer. No so longer exists. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't call it a disappointing hunt, though. I, I had a all. great time. I liked I loved just, seeing a city that yeah, way. I love just seeing what things are, are available mm. over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, the major distilleries represented over there, but then a lot of the craft ones yeah. we saw as well, which was cool. So. I really enjoyed our time at uh, Never Say Die slash White Peak Distilling. I thought that was a great day. And also yeah. Dram, the bar. Mm -hmm. I wish we could have stayed there longer. Like I wish we'd found that earlier in our trip yeah. somehow or had an extra day because I would have loved to spend more time there. In retrospect, I wish we'd gotten a pour of that Daniel Weller. I'm sure I mean, you do. 127-ish US dollars for, uh, for a pour is no. silly, is stupid. But, I you said. know, for a $500 bottle that is selling for Four thousand. I don't However even know. Many thousands uh, on, secondary, on, on the secondary, which we don't like, condone. When, disclaimer. When do you get that opportunity? It would have. Been, we like being able to like you know weigh in on things and mm -hmm. so yeah, we've had it. We think this or that. Uh, just to kind of put a check mark in your ever growing list of bourbon experiences. Mm -hmm. So I, I do wish we would kind of done that. However, it was at the end of the trip we were tapped out in so many different so ways. So many ways, even just like I was tired of drinking at that point. But what do you think? Do you think, tell us in the comments, like did we make a big mistake by not it? doing that? Or would do you, you have done it? Would you have done it? Do you support our decision that we didn't do it? Yeah. It'd be great to get some feedback on that because I'm not sure how to feel about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here and we hope to see you further in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.